everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so uh today's video is going to be the second part of uh a recent concert vlog um so this is the second part of it this will be all fall universe um focused i went to this concert on december 6th with my fiance um i wasn't originally going to go um again like i said in the first um part if you haven't seen that um i wasn't planning on going until some things happened in November where I was able to have some time to actually go to this concert. And thank God my fiance got the tickets to it. So I was very excited about that. Going into it, I wasn't planning on um, really, I wasn't expecting to meet Ronnie at all. And then uh, when we had gotten into the venue, um, I saw that they had a sweatshirt that also included a meet and greet. So I bought that. <laughs> because I have no self-control. Um, but um, you'll get to see that whole interaction later and everything. If you haven't seen the first part, uh, go check that out. That'll be linked in the description below. And um, that first part is gonna be of uh, Escape the Fate. Um, so definitely check that out first and then come back and watch this one or you can watch them on um, that in order. Doesn't matter to me. Um, also, please make sure to check out all my social medias, which are also linked in the description below. And then also check out my Etsy. Um, I'm selling some drawings, um, like the Gerard Way one that is behind me. And then I have some prints available as well for you to purchase. Um, right now I don't have a job, so that is my only source of income. So um, feel free to shop my Etsy. Otherwise, I am taking commissions for drawings and tattoo designs. So feel free to reach me up, reach out to me on Instagram and I will gladly uh, do any sort of commission drawing for you. Without further ado, here is my experience seeing Falling in Reverse for the third time this year um, <laughs> in Madison, Wisconsin at the Sylvie.
Put your fucking hands up! This will be the last song I ever sang About a person that I'd rather not be
represent you. What time is it? Got a clock on the top of the spot and I'm hanging out with the rats again. Great touch, beautiful place in your fashion that we live.
in my head Keep on telling me to pray Cause I'm spinning like a carousel Circle in the train Hit the bottom of the bottle I don't wanna feel the pain But that is all I got for now I don't wanna talk about Voices in my head Keep on begging me to stay If I pull the trigger now Then the demons go away And I know my time is coming So there ain't no time to waste That is all I got for now in my head, keep telling me to choose a side This happened no hell, I just do or die I'm a sad boy, you know better Please don't make this hostile I just want to thank you guys so much. Wow. I, I say this a couple times, and I gotta say it to you guys because I feel like you guys have been fucking with me the hardest for a long time. It, it, it feels like that, so. And bands release their biggest album like years before, and then their songs blow up, and then they try to keep out doing that. And most of the time, they can't. But they, you know what I mean? But sometimes, sometimes they can. And my newest songs are officially bigger than my oldest songs. And I think that that's just... Okay. Dude, it's, it's so, it's so, it's unusual, man. It's fucking awesome. I just want to say thank you guys. And dude, thanks to the radio station that's been playing me the longest. And it's here, it's WJJO. Thank you guys so much. Are you serious? What? Who's just laughing now? You guys believe in me now that they're all playing it. And I just want to say thank you to all you guys. Radio is so important. It's important to music. It's important to the future of new rock. That these radio people play new rock music and not the old stuff all the time. So thank you, WJJO, for playing my band and making me bigger and making my band bigger. For reals, man. People don't realize.
how important radio is. So, I, I do. So thank you. It was a little too nice of me, though. It was like, what the fuck? This guy's pretty fucking nice. Okay. Good? One second. You guys have a guitar issue? So, yeah. Raise your hand if you or someone you know is a fucking asshole! Okay, keep your hand in the sky if you call me an asshole on Twitter. Yeah, you're Amen. so dumb. Think about it. Like, really. I'm, I'm an asshole too. I'm just like you. I'm very aware that I'm an asshole. Just like you! I've been this way since 7 to 
been a long time. It's been a long ride, hasn't it? Wow. Let's go. Come on. I wake up every morning with my head up in the days. I'm not sure if I should say this, but I'll say it anyway. Everybody tries to tell me that I'm going through a phase. I don't know if it's a phase. I just want to feel a pain. Yeah, I'm battle with depression, but the question still remains. Is this post traumatic stress? Or am I suppressing rage? And my doctor tries to tell me that I'm going through a phase. Yeah, it's not a fucking phase. I just want to feel a pain. Yeah, I'm struggling with this bullshit every day.
The show was done. Paul Universe played last. Um, they started, we kind of started made, making a not so great uh, line for the meet and greet. Um, there was actually quite a bit of people, and so that kind of made me super anxious. Um, I don't really like being in large crowds. Um, it's fine during a concert and stuff, but afterwards, when I'm like waiting or um, trying to get out of the venue, my anxiety just starts to catch up with me and I start to get very short of breath and um, I kind of shake a little bit. Um, I promise it wasn't because I had too much coffee this time. Um, well, maybe it was, but who knows. But um, funny enough, uh, one of the guys that was actually standing next to me at Barricade was one of the guys that was actually next to me at Barricade when I was at the Oshkosh Trinity of Terror show which is actually so funny to me. Um, what are the odds that I would be at the same concert next to the same person again? Um, which was, it was actually very comforting knowing that somebody else was there besides my fiance that I knew. Um, and so he and I kind of talked and stuff and um, he ended up getting the meet and greet as well. And so he agreed that he could stay back with me because my fiance didn't get the meet and greet. So um, I trusted this guy enough and his girlfriend or friend, I think, as well. Um, all three of us kind of hung back towards the back to be the last ones just because I couldn't be in the middle of all those people. And it was very anxiety inducing to me. So um, yeah, they, they wanted to make sure, they wanted to have, I think it was at least four or five people in a group to take the picture instead of individual ones, just to make it go faster, which I completely understand because there was so many people that uh, were gonna do the meet and greet afterwards. So um, I was very grateful to have this person um, kind of hang back with me and be in my group photo or in the, in the photo with me um, and kind of keep an eye on me so I wasn't super anxious and stuff. But um, yeah, I as the line got shorter and we were getting closer, I was just like getting more and more anxious. And uh, initially I wasn't gonna like, I was kind of panic panicking a little bit and then one of the um, security people or people that were working there that was working that uh, concert um, helped watch my stuff. So I'm very grateful for them. He's very, very nice. I wish I could remember his name because that man is a saint. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I was very nervous and then um, Ronnie saw me and he, for whatever reason, remembered me, recognized me, I don't know. And so, yeah, that was very, that kind of just melted away all my anxiety that I had been experiencing. I was like, okay, I feel very comfortable. I have met him before and stuff, so um, this shouldn't be too bad. And I thought it was very, it was very touching and heartwarming to, you know, have him remember me and it was very it was very comforting knowing that he remembered who I was and um was actually very excited to see me again so um that was a bit of a surprise to me but um yeah he was very nice um after the picture was taken 
asked for a hug. He's like, yeah, sure, like no big deal. And so that was very nice. Um, thank you, Ronnie. I doubt you're watching this, but uh, thank you for making that experience um, very, making that experience memorable and uh, making me feel comfortable. Um, and I don't know, every, every in interaction that I've had with Ronnie has been very positive. Um, so I don't care what you have to say about the man, but uh, I'm just sharing my experience that I've had. Every interaction that I've had with him has been very positive. Um, I just think he's hilarious. Um, and, you know, there's a lot that he's he has taught me and just from his attitude towards life and uh, through his music and everything. Um, it definitely helped me get through a lot of shit and uh, inspires me in some way. So, uh, yeah, I think, like, it's very special when you can find a band or an artist that kind of sets a good example for you or like with Ronnie he's learned from his mistakes and sure he said some, some shit but uh, time goes on and uh, like not you're not gonna agree with everything somebody is gonna say uh, guaranteed because there's some things that he said that I don't agree with but uh, for the most part, uh, his attitude towards life and uh, towards the experiences that he's had with being in prison and stuff have been very uh, motivating and uh, inspiring to me. So having a good um, head on your shoulders definitely gets you a lot further in life and having a positive attitude instead of thinking that the world is out to get you definitely gets you a lot further. Um, so yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching this vlog. Uh, I saw, I'm sorry for rambling, but I just wanted to get some things off my chest about this experience and, um, just my two cents on Ryan Radke because people think he's very controversial and whatnot, but, um, you know, you're not going to agree with my music taste or the people that I like and that's your opinion and that's totally okay. We don't have to agree on everything. Um, I like my music, you like your music, you support whoever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again for watching this vlog. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one, whenever that'll be, as well as some flute covers and some drawing time lapses that I'll be having up uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, I plan on doing a uh, New Year's uh, end of the year like reflection video on uh, 2022. So. We'll see if I can remember to do that um, soon. So <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Um, stay rad. <laughs>